but unfortunately we've got a little issue here. A little heifer calf that's uh, one of my favorite ones. This is Peach's daughter. Let her go. In case you missed a previous video, Marissa and I took on the challenge of trying to catch our calves. It's time for the weaning process. Getting the calves to come into this specific pasture through their creeper gate was not an issue. The problem was catching all of the calves at one time, and then the next move would be to get them up at the barn and put them in their own pen and start the weaning process. But it hasn't been easy. They have been coming in here, and so have the deer. They've been enjoying the free groceries that they've been getting every day. The last thing that I wanted to do was to have to bring the whole herd up to the barn. We're doing everything we can to try to avoid that and just catch them on our own. He is a tank. That's the one I did call tank. Um, he's a big boy. I think he weighed 430 at a weaning weight, which is one of the biggest calves we've ever had. Hoss is really starting to contest with Big Joe here in the past couple weeks. Look at him, he's wanting more. Everybody is way jazzed up. Hey guys, Dusty Baker with Cross Timbers Bison. Welcome back to our channel. Thank you guys for watching us today. We were bison ranching, but unfortunately we got a little issue here. We got a, a little heifer calf that's uh, one of my favorite ones. This is Peach's daughter right here um, yesterday we came out here and marissa and i noticed that uh, there's some blood coming from her vulva and dried up below her vulva kind of on her backside you see how she's got her tail up slightly just a little bit there and she looks really good she comes from a really good mama good genetics it's got good structure confirmation about her yeah but she's got something going on see her tails kind of like that called doc and talked to him already hoss you're gonna be in my way here he asked me he was curious if it was actually coming from her butt or it was coming from her girl parts which would be the vulva today her backside is dry now you can see the blood is crusted but i had my binoculars with me and i was looking at her and she just happened to jolt and move really fast well when she did I saw some blood squirt out. So explained what was going on. And um, he basically said, you need to catch her and give her a couple of treatments. I've been feeding these calves right here. I've been trying a little method of catching them. You see, I got a game trail camera up, but uh, we built this gate right here last year. It's called my weaning gate and we can put it, it's 12 foot wide and put a lot of places. So I've been feeding them out here. They've been able to come and graze in this pasture where the big herd's been out and they can go through here getting them on a little bit of feed, just some supplement for winter, and getting them used to it, because that's what we typically put them on, but thought maybe we could catch them and get them away from their moms. So, not sure what we're gonna do here. Um, major challenge is we would have to bring up the entire herd, basically, and uh, try to catch the calves. And that may be our only option, but we're definitely keeping an eye on her, and uh, we wanna take care of our calves. You know, that's the future right there. She's either going to be staying here and being a replacement heifer, or she will be sold off or whatever to another producer. So, huh. got kind of cold today, a little cold front. All right, we've made up our mind. We're going to do it. Got a plan together. We're going to try to catch some calves. We're going to do this. So I got to take my panels I've had up here. I let Dunbar and a couple of heifers hang out in here. Got to move these panels. We're going to take them down there set them up so we can catch these calves kind of in a funnel system but we're gonna catch them i'm gonna have my trailer sitting there because i've been bringing them in with some feed hopefully one time when they come in here to eat we can shut the gate load them on the trailer and move them from there and especially the 350 heifer that's the one we're targeting because of her issues so gotta get them caught Drop through 
pasture two right here in the front we're gonna take these three panels down there we never have to open another gate so that's why we're going this way There's one already down here, but the idea is that they come through here. We shut this gate. I'm gonna back my trailer up right here and kind of make a funnel here. We'll back the trailer up and it may get tight. I think we can catch them. It's just getting in here and getting them loaded in a trailer and pushing them hard enough to get them in a trailer. So that's kind of the question that I'm a little uh, hesitant on to tell you if that's gonna work or not, but Uh, I've got our pin set up pretty quick, makeshift. Thank gosh for freestanding panels and a skid steer. So here's what it ended up, almost being perfect. Came at an angle here, got a straight one there, came at an angle right here off of this. So what we'll do is we'll back up our trailer, we'll put right here, we'll use our sliding gate. We'll be here where we load them up. That's just the next move is getting them to come in here. They left some feed. Getting them all to come in here, basically, it's, that's the moment of uh, truth. As a last ditch effort to try to catch these calves, we left the trailer out here for a couple of days, knowing that we still needed to catch them all, which will give us a chance to really take a look at this heifer that is having some issues. And we knew it'd be a challenge to try to catch them in pasture too. And some of you were probably wondering, why didn't you just shut the gate when they were in there? And I know some of you are thinking, well, if you can get them caught in pasture too, separated from the herd, can't you just escort them or push them all the way up to the corral? No, because the problems with calves is they always want back with their family, they want back with their mothers. They're still essentially attached to their mother until you start the weaning process and actually separate them from their mother. So we couldn't pull them with cubes or anything like that. They're not trained like the rest of our animals with cubes. And so getting them all the way to the very front of the Ponderosa is almost impossible. So the only way to really catch them like this is to set up the panels, set the trailer up, and hopefully when they all come in, shut the gate. It was definitely a long stretch, but we were doing everything that we could to try to catch these calves. And this method of using this creeper gate that we built last year has helped and worked with us in the past, or worked for us in the past. And so, but now our only choice is to do what we didn't want. We're going to have to bring the whole herd up. And I was trying to avoid this, but we're going to have to go ahead and bring them up now, catch all the calves, pin them up separately, and let the main herd go back out in the pasture. I'm going to let them in pasture too. It's had a lot of recovery time. Planted a cover crop in here. It didn't do very well. In some places it did really well, but because we need to catch these calves, we're going to let them in here graze for a day. We're going to try to catch them in our trap. And then hopefully we'll catch them in the wood that way. Is 
Is it gonna pinch it? I'm just gliding in it. Okay. They're coming in. We got two. Four. Christy, curious Christy. Curious Christy. Now I'm headed back down to the pasture. I'm headed back to get these three freestanding panels. I'm gonna go get those real quick. Actually, shut the gate. I don't think we shut the gate when we let them out. I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna take them back up to the corral, build another pen, or add back to our previous pen, and then. Uh, Try to get these guys up maybe tomorrow let them have a day out grazing and getting some of this cover crop some of this winter grasses hey y'all shut this gate real quick Well, hey, good morning, guys. Welcome back. We're on day about day two or three of this whole process of trying to catch these cows instead of bringing the whole herd up. Well, we came to that time where I, what I didn't want to do, we're going to have to do. Uh, I've had the Big Joe herd up here in pasture two, which is our first cover crop pasture that we ever planted. Didn't do great, but there's patches that did okay. Well, they've been in here for about two days now. And one, it's time to get them off of this pasture. They've hit it hard. And then two, I've got to get some of these calves caught. I've got one with an issue, of course, that we've been talking about, and I really need to catch her. Bring them up here. We're going to use the ATV. Has a has a spray rig, a fire uh, rig on the back of it because we did some prescribed burning yesterday. They look a little eager for some cubes right now. So I'm going to bring them up here. I catch them, sort them, try to get the calves off, which is very difficult, and go from there. Oh yeah, they got after this stuff pretty good. Hey Peaches. Hey girl. Woo! Man himself. Ba-dum, 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 ba-dum. Come on! Woo! to have her but if she wants to you're not going okay. 
All right. I'm gonna gate cut them by using this gate here. Hopefully they want out after they get a little agitated in here after the, all the cubes are eaten up. They're gonna get a little, little, little sketchy, get a little stressed out. There's the heifer we really need to catch. We're gonna go ahead and catch all the calves if we can. Of course, that little red dog, he needs to go back out with his mama. So the idea is that they wanna go back out. It's gonna stress them out a little bit because they're in here, in this little trap right here that Marissa and I made the other day. And then they're gonna wanna exit. Well, my, my goal is to get them to go back out in pasture too. And if I can gate cut these calves, I can get them in that little bitty corral in there behind the hay bales where our barn is, which is where Cora stays, if I can get the calves trapped in here. So that's the idea. All right, so I've got a flag here and I'm gonna try to take, look at these hooligans. Always mess around, wrong time to be messing around. Let's see if we can get anybody interested in exiting. These boys are still fighting. All right, so we've got our first three here. Okay. Ah, dad gummit. Red dog. He'll figure it out. Really need this calf. Uh, see, they've all. Now nah, they're figuring it out a little bit. Go ahead. Took a chunk of these right here. Now they're all coming. Easy calf, easy, easy. So right now, mamas are out here, calves are wanting with them. I'm just trying to cut, the calves are wanting back out, so I'm just trying to let the adults buy, but the calves trust the mamas so much that they want to run with the mamas, they feel comfortable with them, so. Now they're getting a little stirred up here. Let's see if I can take these little chunks like this, right here. Let her go. Take these chunks here. This calf is really wearing me out right here. It's 352. It's causing a lot of issues here. If I can get Big Joe out, he doesn't need to be in here. Big Joe! Come on, buddy. I think you'll listen to me. Get over here on their side. Let's see if I can get a couple out. Ah, see, she's wanting to go with her. It's a tough situation because that calf is so close. There we go, got him cut. Let's see if Big Joe will want to just come out on his own. Come on, Big Joe. Hey, hey, you get back. Come on, Joe. Come on, buddy. Come on, buddy. This little guy here is not giving it up. Come on, Joe. Come on. There you go. Thank you. Thank you, big boy. Thank you. We got four, five, six mamas left. There's a mama in here that's being pulled down too. She's not doing real good. I darted her, Marissa and I darted her about a week ago. 
she needs to go out or cast pulling her down some. If you want to know where the rest of them are, they're over here smelling around. There's some green grass over there. Some hay if they probably try to get into that. The mamas that are getting their calves. See, this is 60, 6008 Quapaw. That's her little red dog there. We need to get them back together. For sure. Everybody else is out here. Let's cut these two real quick. There's two more. That's good. 116, here we go. We've got three mamas left. Let's see if she'll squeeze by here. Down to three mamas. another okay two more mamas it's gonna be tough it's gonna get tight right here come on little red dog <laughs> that one's so little he needs to go back out anyway okay mama came back in to get the red dog so that's good and they're out they're out in the pasture together they're gone this is gonna be a tough cut here Ah, gotcha. Hey, Joe, he's just up here hanging out with Cora. So we're going to run him in here. Try to cut him now. Shoot, shoot, shoot. Smaller pin. We can cut mom's off. Hopefully, see how this goes. Got one. We wanted her back out. All right, one mama left. Gonna be hard, hard, hard here. Big Joe, you can't come up here. Hey, get back, buddy. Back. Back, please. I just cut the last cow, Noah's heifer. She did not want away from her baby. So we've got all the calves caught here and our focus is the 350 heifer right here. So they're all calm in here. I like it so far. They've got some hay just to munch on in the meantime, but they're not stressed out. Probably a little stressed, but they're not bouncing off the pins. That's the difference between how we want our animals raised a little bit is get them used to us, but this right here makes a difference. Is uh, I like how calm they are and they're not freaking out bouncing everywhere. Well, the good thing is, is we got all the calves caught, got them pinned up here at our Ponderosa barn momentarily. Next move is we really need to evaluate this heifer, really take a look at her and see what the problem is since we get can get a little bit closer to her now, go from there and see if she needs any treatments. And the next thing is we gotta get the Big Joe herd back out in pasture three where they came from. Stay tuned for the next video. Thank you guys for watching. We're gonna keep on bison ranching.